It's the news beekeepers were dreading. 32 beehives have been destroyed after Varroa mite was detected at Nana Glen near Coffs Harbour. The next phase of the operation really is to try and establish very much a containment line around where we know the mites have got to and hopefully that isn't very much further at all. Hives had been moved from the Hunter to this region but authorities aren't sure when. The area's berry growers rely on bees for pollination. There's no guarantees around anything at the moment. We are still in the assessment phase, but the guarantee is we will be doing everything we can to try and make sure we keep supporting horticulture of all kinds. Despite being just 700 metres from the red zone, this keeper said he and his neighbour hadn't received official word of a detection. He's got bees in the red zone, clo closer to where the hives were with the varroa, and he hasn't been notified either. The region's berry industry accounts for up to 85% of the state's berry produce. Growers say that should this outbreak continue to spread, price rises at the supermarket are inevitable. If growers go without bees, the impact will be swift. There are certainly a proportion of growers who are in that red zone, which has enormous implications for their season. And then we also have the majority of industry within that 50 kilometre zone. The industry says berry growers had already faced many hurdles and will need support to get through this. Nick Parmiter, ABC News, Coffs Harbour.